In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add a treasure chest or a crate to your game. This includes both making it interactive as well as adding it to the UI, making it craftable, and so forth. So to start off, let's open up the item world view, which you can get to by going to window item world. I'll go ahead and dock it center down here. Now at the moment, you're able to interact with objects by clicking on them like so. And we want that to be the same for the box that we create. In order to do that, we're going to leverage a prefab that is already in the project called uh, an interactive object. If I can spell interactive right at least. Here we go. So this is the prefab. You can drag and drop it into the scene and you'll see there's nothing there. And that is because this is just the behaviors for something to be interacted with. It doesn't prescribe anything by itself per se. We also want to have some visuals for it. So let me go ahead and search the project for the box visual. Uh, let's see here. So we have the icon, we have the sci-fi box. I'll drag it into the scene as well. The sci-fi box 3D model is included with the ultimate crafting system. Uh, the icon, though, I made myself just by taking a quick screenshot and cutting it out in Photoshop. So we're going to pair the sci-fi box to the interactive object that we just created right here. So I'm going to drag and drop it onto the interactive object and make sure that its position is zeroed out. So the way these interactive objects work, if I hop into play mode, you can see I can hover over it and it says interactable object. Upon interacting with this object, it will cause a canvas to appear, or specifically it will activate a game object, and that is this screen canvas object. You can see these event trigger things here. It says on pointer enter, it will set the object cursor on, that's how it detects when you're hovering over it. And then on pointer click, it tells the player to move to and interact with it. It also has this base interactable script on it. On this, it says on begin interact, set screen canvas to active. So that will take this object here and just toggle it on. Now I'm going to zoom out so we can actually add some stuff. Right now the canvas is invisible. This is actually part of a different canvas. But if I were to say, let's see here, I'll make it a child of this. This has a scale animation on it, so it'll pop in smoothly. I'm going to start off by just creating some text and we'll call this my box and center it and increase the text size a smidge. All right, and now if we revert the state of the screen canvas back to the default, which is disabled, it should be enabled when I go and interact with it. There we go, you can see my box is at the center of the screen, and then if I move away, my box disappears. But we want to actually be able to store items in it. So to that end, let's go ahead and reactivate it so that we can see what we're doing. And I'll use Alt-Shift-N to create a new empty child, and we'll call it uh, Inventory. This is going to be the parent of the slots that compose the box or treasure chest that we have here. So we're going to add a Inventory thing to it. Child Slots Inventory is what will be most useful here. The child slots inventory will grab all slots on the child of the game object and make it so that they are accessible from one place. But we do need to add those children's slots. So there is a prefab in the project called a transferable. See here, slot transferable is what we want. I'll drag it and make it a child of the inventory and just duplicate it until we get to nine or so. Now, right now, they are all in the same place. So let's add a quick grid layout here. Grid layout group, not quite what we want. Let's set it to a fixed row count and give it three. So now we have a nice three by three grid of boxes. And let's add a bit of spacing in between each of them. All right, cool. So we now have some title text. Let me see if I move this around a bit and we'll center the inventory, style alignment, middle center. All right, cool. And we will move the my box text to the top. And now if we revert the screen canvas and enter play mode, 
interact with the object, you'll see we now have some slots and we can place items in the slots and take them back out and everything works. There are a few things to change though. Uh, for one, my box is not very uh, visible, but that's fine. This is just for demonstration purposes, but also the hover text here still says interactable object. So let's go ahead and change that to something a bit more accurate. If we look here, there's this object cursor game object. If I open that up and find the text component here, it says interactable object. Let's change that to box. Ah, treasure chest does sound a bit better, doesn't it? Treasure box, we'll split the difference. All right, now entering play mode, now says treasure box, so perfect. We now have this box that we can interact with and store stuff in. And in fact, if we wanted to, could hop over here and on the inventory thing, slap on an inventory saver and we'll call it box inventory. And if I enter play mode, run over to it and put in 64 iron, exit play mode, enter again. And if we walk over to the box, you can see that the iron is there. The lack of a background really is bothering me though. So let's actually fix that real quick. Go ahead and activate the screen canvas. And then I will make a new empty object. We'll call this background and add an image component to it. And just use a simple UI thing, make it a little bigger and put the text and inventory in it. The inventory is going to attach to the bottom. Text is going to attach to the top. And just make sure everything is justified properly. All right, that looks a little better to me. Now if we enter play mode after reverting the screen canvas here, and head over to the box, we have a nice box. Perfect. So now the question is, how do we actually make this item usable in the game? So how can we craft it? How do we add it to this here item world view? And how do we make it so that we can place it in the world? So let's start that now. The first thing, of course, is to create a new item. We will call this treasure chest. All right, let's start off by adding an icon. As I mentioned previously, I have added one of my own here. I will drag that in there. Oh, and it's not working because I have not set the mode of the box icon to sprite. All right, so now we can drag it in. Duke. And so now we have an icon, and if we refresh the view here, there should be a box somewhere. Oh, yeah, in fact, there we go, there's treasure chest. And now we also want to make it placeable. So placeables naturally have a prefab associated with them. What we've made so far is not actually a prefab yet, so let's take care of that first. First, I will rename it to something more appropriate. We'll call it uh, place, uh, just treasure chest, placeable. And drag it into the project view here. Create a prefab variant. Make sure that variant isn't appended to the end of the name. All right, there we go. So now we can theoretically drag several of these into the scene. They seem to work fine. So now that that is taken care of, uh, if I open back up the treasure chest again, I should be able to drag and drop this treasure chest placeable right in there. Perfect. And with that, it is something that we can place in the scene, but we still can't craft it. So let's go ahead and create a recipe for that. So hop over to the recipes tab, create a new simple recipe, and we'll call this print treasure chest. I think it's going to be a relatively simple recipe. We'll just have it take, say, three iron. So we'll search for iron, drag it in there, and set the quantity to three. And the result is going to be a 
treasure chest. And as the title hints at, this is going to need a 3D printer. So I'll go ahead and drag that to the side there. And with that alone, we should be able to print our own treasure chest. So if I hop into play mode and head over to the 3D printer here, there we go. There's the treasure chest. Takes three iron, and if I hit print, alrighty, exit out, see if it deposited in our inventory, and sure enough, here we go. I'll swap it in the UI here, and scroll on over to it and go ahead and place it. There we go, it's placed, and you can interact with it and store the items. Since it has the inventory saver on it right now, it's sharing an inventory with the rest of them, so you'll probably want to remove the inventory saver script from the prefab itself. Uh, or you could have a script of your own that changes the name of it, so each box has a unique name. But with that, we have a placeable item that has an icon, it is craftable, and interactable in the world. If you have any questions or comments, of course, leave them below. And if you'd like to learn more about how to use the Ultimate Crafting System, go ahead and check out the links in the description below. Until next time.